Bye. No one's going to drag you up to get into the life where you belong. But where do you belong? I saw the sign. And oh, hey, it's me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what do you know? It's yet another Edge Trader Show. person who's been on the show a few times and uh, this is something that he wanted all of us here in Baltimore to see. This is uh, Mr. David Bowie with uh, something he calls Brass Tax. Brass Tax. So recently I was on an airplane and usually I, when I take an airplane I'm not sitting with anybody else, you know, I'm by myself. But I thought it'd be nice, you know. It would be a kick, you know, just to go and you know, sit with everybody and uh, kind of went incognito, had some shades on and a hat. Nobody knew who I was. It was great. You know, so I'm sitting there and a guy, I think he had, was eating some food and he started choking. And they said, is there a doctor here? I thought, you know, hey, this will be a real gas. I'm going to, so I, you know, I said, oh, here I am, you know, and uh, I have an honorary doctorate from Harvard. So, and you know, in essence, I'm not lying when I say that I'm a doctor. Anyways, you know, the guy passes away, but what a gas this was, because, you know, it's fun, it's it's like, you feel like you're a little kid, you know, playing doctor, you know, it's like, you put on the uniform, and, you know, you, you play all the parts, you know, 
No, the, the real twist was uh, that apparently it was a real doctor that, you know, could have uh, actually, you know, saved him or whatever. But uh, I was, you know, it's a great story when I was at the lodge, I was telling all the guys about it. Oh, what a laugh, you know, and just good times, you know. And that's why sometimes it's good to kind of uh, mix in with the regular folks, get on, get on the plane with them, you know. And uh, that was nice. So recently I had a friend visit me. I haven't, it's a guy that I haven't seen in about 20 years. And, you know, he's uh, somebody I knew in grammar school. Anyways, you know, it's somebody that doesn't have a lot of money. So, you know, I don't, I want to um, make them comfortable, you know, just, I don't want to put them off with, you know, pageantry and things like that. So, you know, they come over, you know, you do like a humble setup, you know, just have the table there and some sandwiches and whatnot. What they're used to, you know, what they want to see, what they can familiarize with. And anyway, she comes in, drives up to my estate in a neon. It's a white neon. It's got dirt all over it. Thing looks about five years old. Anyway, so when it comes in, I'm like, "Hey, oh, now come on in. Haven't seen you in years. Great to see you." Comes in while we're eating dinner. The sandwiches, the working class sandwiches. I have the car incinerated. And then, you know, after we're done eating, I'm like, "Oh, you know, they're getting dessert ready. Why don't we go outside and have a cigarette?" He walks out the door. I close it behind him. He walks home. He learns a lesson. Here's a news flash for you. People who get fired from their jobs are no longer my friends because they're weak. People are at their most unattractive when they say, I love you. There's something about the facial muscles, the way they look when they say it. They look very unattractive. So the other day I'm standing behind this guy at a coffee shop and uh, his credit card is declined. I laughed. It, oh God, it was great. It was really funny. And the look on his face, you know, he was obviously bothered by that but oh god I mean it's like manna from heaven you know when those types of things happen <laughs> it's just it's great so the other night I was uh, performing and uh, right outside of New Jersey and I did a you know I was doing Under Pressure one of uh, one of my greatest songs and um, so I, you know jokingly with the audience I joke around and say Freddie couldn't be here tonight you know it's funny because uh, he has been you know gone for some time now place goes dead silent I had a laugh. It was good. Whatever. Here's a question. Which store would you rather shop at? The one up the street that keeps all the money? Or the one around the corner that gives over $50 million a year to charities? I don't know about you, but I'm going to go with my favorite store, Walmart. O.J. Simpson, innocent or guilty? Guilty of being one of the greatest football players who ever lived. The juice is loose. Okay, folks, that was Brass Tax from uh, David Bowie. Brass tacks. That was the brass tacks.